in this video we are going to uh, yeah try to solve a difficult problem um, I want you to write a program to print out the longest line the content and the length of the longest line um, using arrays and uh, there's one thing to note about this you may have to limit the maximal amount of characters and this is because the array limitation you, you don't have dynamic arrays um, but this is okay let's say uh, the maximal array length should be 100 and uh, you can try to solve this program um, by yourself um, you can use you can solve this um, exercise with everything you know although um, there is one part you should use um, a C built-in function that we uh, didn't talk about yet but I will cover it in this video just um, just a bit we will talk about this uh, in detail later on okay um, I hope you already come up with your own solution so you can compare that now to the solution I give to you Mm, my solution is not the best solution it is just an easy solution so later we will uh, learn some more efficient ways to solve this problem okay first of all I want to have two new variables um, the current line and the maximum line this is uh, the actual count of the line because I want to have the length and the content. So these variables will provide the length and I want to have two arrays. The current line content which has a maximum amount of 100 characters and I will initialize this with the zero byte value. We already talked about this one and the maximum line content. This is already not very efficient, but um, we just want to solve the problem here now and we uh, don't care a lot about efficiency. Okay, and um, <clears throat> the first condition I want to uh, I want to set is I want to check if the current character is a line break um, if it's a new line uh, no, no I start I start with the I start with the other way if it's not a new line it's a little bit easier to start off as long as it's not a new line I want to increment the current line and I want to set the current line content oh, better do that before it to the current character this is our current index uh, we start at zero and we count on which is why I need to uh, put that of course before the incremental here um, yeah, and that's all. If it's not a new line, I just want to count uh, the length and to set the current character um, for um, everything else, which is just for the new line. I want um, to have another condition inside of here. I want to check if the current line is uh, bigger than the max line uh, regarding the length. If that is the case, uh, also I'm not checking if this is greater or equal because if we have two equally uh, long lines, I just want to take the first occurrence. I don't care about any other line with uh, the same length, which I could do here, of course, but uh, we just take it simple. Okay, um, if the current line uh, is greater than our current max line, we want to update our max line. Mm, and now here we have a problem. 
Mm. We need to update the array. And we can't just do uh, max line content equals current line content. This is not working because of uh, some yeah, C limitations, but or maybe limitation is the wrong word. For our view now, it is a limitation, but later we will know why we can't do that. Um, so we need to find another way. And one way we already know is not very beautiful, but I will show you this way first. And after that, I will show you another way for, oh, actually, I don't need the curlies here. I will show you another way um, doing this. So the first way we can do is, um, like I said, not very efficient. Take a for loop and then max line content i equals current line content i. So we just iterate over both of our arrays and we will assign the value, uh, the values to each other. Um, we can make one more step to improve this. We can take this 100 away and set this one to uh, the max line actually, or the current line, this, this doesn't matter here because here the value is the same. If we do that, we have to set the equal, uh, less or equal than sign because the max line is also based on uh, zero. Um, yeah, this one will save us some, some loops for the for loop because um, imagine we just have, so we have a text or something where, where the uh, longest line is maybe 10 lines. So we will have 90 iterations here that are just totally useless every time um, in the worst case, of course. Um, so we just want to uh, want to assign the new value for real values. Okay, um, that's it for this condition. And uh, if we set our new max line, we want to reset the current line and we are happy with setting the um, length to zero. Because if we have a line that is longer than the last one, we also have a refreshed all the values of the, the array here. Okay, and after that we want to tell the user which line was the longest. Mm. So you remember the string format sign and everything else is not very special. I will compile this now and execute it. I will do that with numbers because we can say it's right easily. That is uh, true. I will have one more go. And also, also that is true. So our program is working just fine. Um, it prints the characters of the longest line and uh, the content, the length and the content, which is what we wanted. Okay, um, I told you I have a better way to do this. So uh, I want to call this one possibility one. And we have another one. <clears throat> mm, this is new. Uh, we are using the function strncpy. And here we start, I hope I do it right now, with the max line and then the current line. And then our total characters we want to copy. Um, this will copy all the content of this array to this array. Um, 
it is a little bit less code if it's really more efficient that's another question um but i want to show that because i want to show you two things the first one is usually you always have more than just one possibility try to make use of the knowledge you have and maybe you can find something else on the internet maybe you saw that maybe you found another thing maybe you found that with l which is maybe not working because you don't have that library maybe you found that with uh, maybe you found this function which is also okay or maybe you found this function um, so we have actually more than just two possibilities. We have a couple of possibilities here, how we can do this, how we can solve this problem. Um, but this is one of uh, the possibilities I would prefer now because I want to show two more things. Uh, so the first one was I want to show you always have more possibilities. The next one is I want to show you an error message. This one incompatible implicit declaration of built-in function as here and copy mm. if you see this these words in an error message this means um, you are missing a header file we didn't talk about the header files um, in the tutorial so far but we will um, cover that in a later video I just want to tell you now, if this error appears on your screen, you are missing a header file. And in this case, it is the string header file, which um, provides you with all the string functions that uh, C offers. And this is a str string function. If you read str and some other thing after that, this is most likely a string function and you will most likely need the string header file. If we compile that now, it will work. We can test our program because I'm always not sure about the uh, uh, position for the array. Okay, it's working. Um, yeah, this program was a little bit more difficult maybe for you. Um, maybe it was easy, I don't know. You can leave a comment, feel free. And in the next videos, we will learn some new functions. And after that, we will, of course, do exercises again. And uh, if you tell me your experience with these exercises and if they are really easy, difficult or whatever I told you before, um, you can tell me so I can make it more difficult or I can make it a little bit easier for you. Um, yeah, okay, then uh, see you in the next video and yeah, I'm looking forward to it.